This video is entitled Rosa Parks Was and Is an Image Created by the Federal Government. This video is part two to my prior video entitled Dane Calloway is Right. Question everything, even Martin Luther King. The information I'm uploading to my channel cannot be found in anyone else's videos, and that's my word. I speak to my elders and I research. I'm indigenous realist and I'm the realist, and I'm an indigenous American. Indigenous to this shore, my people didn't come here on no boats. We were here already. I'm going to start us off at the Montgomery bus boycott. On March 2nd, 1955, a 15-year-old girl refused to give up her seat to a white man on a Montgomery City bus in violation of local law. Claudette Coven was arrested and taken to jail. At first, the local chapter of NAACP felt they had an excellent test case to challenge Montgomery's segregated bus policy, but then it was revealed that she was pregnant and civil rights leaders feared this would scandalize the deeply religious black community and make Colvin and thus the group's efforts less credible in the eyes of sympathetic whites. In my other video, I briefly mentioned how when Rosa Parks refused to get out of her seat that Martin Luther King, excuse me, Mr. King was used to be a major role in leading the bus boycotts, but it was only briefly. See, they missed out on the opportunity to exploit the earlier bus incident, so they used Rosa Parks to reenact the incident. See, on December 1st, 1955, they got another chance to make their propaganda street theater used to promote more docile and submissive traits. We've been brainwashed through propaganda, fake news, fake school. We never sailed to these shores. We sailed away at times, but this this has always been our home. Long live Turtle Island. We are the original inhabitants. That evening, 42-year-old Rosa Parks boarded the Cleveland Avenue bus to go home after an exhausting day at work. She sat in the first row of the color section in the middle of the bus. As the bus traveled its route, all the seats in the white section filled up. Then several more white passengers boarded the bus. The bus driver noted that there were several white men standing and demanded that Parks and several other African Americans give up their seats. Three other African American passengers reluctantly gave up their places, but Parks remained seated. See, they put them other uh, three passengers just to make it seem like three failed and only one only one uh, bucked the system. This was just a show for white America. This was only a show for the Negro community. This was only a show for the indigenous community. Negroes are Africans. They're not Native American. They're not indigenous. The driver asked her again to give up her seat, and again she refused. Parks was arrested and booked for violating the Montgomery City Code. At her trial a week later, in a 30-minute hearing, Parks was found guilty and fined $10 and assessed $4 court fee. On the night that Rosa Parks was arrested, E.D. Nixon, head of the local NAACP chapter, met with Martin Luther King Jr. and other local civil rights leaders to plan a citywide bus boycott. King was elected to lead the boycott because he was young, well-trained, with a solid family connection and had professional standing. King was a government plant, a government trained and created image to push this propaganda just like the lady Rosa Parks are. I'm not saying that they're guilty, but I'm not saying they're innocent. See, Michael King Jr., the person behind the creative image of Martin Luther King Jr., and Rosa Parks were only pawns in the chessboard that is America. Federal government created images at that time were only used to spread propaganda peacefully in all talk in no action type of way they aren't violent they are like gang stalkers used to alter a person's mind and mental state into a more docile and manageable subject africans aren't our brothers nor did they enslave us or sell us as the government wants us to believe they are foreigners just like the europeans white people aren't americans they are european foreign invaders we are the indigenous Americans, man. Don't let anybody tell you difference. We must wake up and realize we are home. And Africa is a trap for us to disappear in. Africa is 9,000 miles away, so they say. We ain't all come from there. I'm indigenous realist and I'm out. Please subscribe. Please share my channel. Share this video. I will have more videos on the way, man. Part 3, 4, 5 will be coming. I'm going to stop at 5 and get on a whole nother subject, man. I'm going to keep fresh content coming up every day, man. Y'all subscribe and tune in. I'm Indigenous Realist and I'm out.